let me ask you this: When you came from Australia to the to the to the U.S., right? Yeah, right, right. Where were you born? In Australia? I'm born in Australia. Yeah, I still have a green card and a passport and uh, the whole nine yards. From Australia? I just talk like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not an American citizen. I'm an Australian. So you're still not an American citizen? No, no, because here's the reason being, though, because, I mean, another, they can't make me leave because, you know, as as you said sometime or somewhere, I have so many children, they can't make me leave. So <laughs> they, uh, but, but I don't, I'm, I have, I have, I have, I'm, I have the permanent resident alien. I'm allowed to stay here as long as I want. But then again, I can pack my bags and head on to Australia and stay there as long as I want to. How many kids do you have? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they speak English or, or in America. Or, I mean, I mean, you know, we got me. But honestly, I have five biological children by four women. No, no, by five women in five states. And then I have my two daughters now that I have raised since they were little that live with me and my wife, Angela, or did. They're grown up now. So I have a total of seven children, yeah. five biological, three boys and three girls. I mean, three, uh, two boys and three girls. Okay. How many are, did, did you pay child support? Oh. Uh, none. No, I didn't. I, really? I didn't deal lay, yeah, I'll lay them, but I won't pay them. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Dundee, I can't. You know, listen, if you want to pack your bags and take your kid, then you have. I just got arrested, Dutch. You're not going to believe this shit. I just got arrested a month ago for a child support warrant from 1995. The fucking kid is 32 years old. I told the woman, I said, tell him to get a job. I ain't fucking paying you. So I don't know. I don't know what they want, but I'm not paying them. I paid a $300 bond and they said I still owe them $1,700. I said, well, good. I'm glad to know it. Uh, good luck with that. Seventeen hundred for a kid that's thirty-two. That's yeah, getting 30 all Oh that's yeah, no, no, he was. Oh yeah, he was adopted out when he was four without my consent or anything. It's a, a fucking scam, bullshit Kentucky thing. But anyway, uh, I was just a really literally. I was pulled over the other day, and when the cop came back to the car, he said, "Muhlenberg County," and I go. Yeah, what about it? He gave me an address, and I go, yeah, I used to live there. Then he gave me my address to my mom's old house in Tennessee. He said, 3424 Township Road, at Antoka, Tennessee. And I go, no, that's Antioch. He goes, does that mean anything to you? I go, yeah, those are the places I lived. Why? And he goes, because you got a warrant. And I go, what kind of warrant? And he said, from 1995. Uh, and I go, from 1995? <laughs> And he goes, yeah, child support warrant. So fucking put me in jail, and I had to pay a three hundred ninety-five dollar bond from nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, yeah, the kid is literally thirty-two years old, and I'm like, well, tell him to get a fucking job because I'm not paying that. I'm not paying it no more. I was done. I did four years in the penitentiary over this bullshit, and I'm not fucking paying. Did you? But did you pay child support on this on this boy? No, no, ever, no, ever. Is, no, no, no. This is in the rearage. That's why they oh. see this is what this is why they're telling me I still owe him, even though he's 32 years old. But here's the thing. And I said, you can't rearrest me for that because I did a four year state penitentiary sentence. I served my sentence out. And this was their response. Mr. Dundee, you're exactly right. We cannot ever arrest you for flagrant non-support again. But we can arrest you for the rest of your life for contempt of court because a judge has ordered you to pay this and you have not paid it. And I said, "Ain't this a fucking bad? This is just ridiculous." But okay, I'll pay you. But I'm paying them. <laughs> so you, so you, you paid some of it. Well, I, they took the bond. You know, when when <laughs> I posted bond, they took that three hundred dollars. So there's seventeen hundred dollars. It was two thousand one hundred dollars, and now it's seventeen hundred. Well, let me ask you. The, let me see. It'll uh, take three, six, nine, twelve, fifty. It's going to take them six more times to arrest me and get six more bonds before they get their money. But so you got care. it all. So you got it all figured out. Oh yeah, I've had it all figured out since nineteen ninety five. Yeah, <laughs> I did four years, and so, I told so, you I would have never left jail if they let me get so, laid. I'd have never left. Oh, you you took you took my question away from me. I was going to say, how many times have you been in jail? Oh my God, I've been in jail a bunch of times. Like just just in the last seven years, I mean, I've lived here for fifteen years, and I've got uh, about thirty three mug shots just from this town, from Henderson, Kentucky, you know, Evansville. And then, then I, I when I when I went and got my driver's license back, I had forty seven driving on suspended. That 
because I drove from 1988 to 2014 with no driver's license, none. How many times you get stopped? Uh, 47. Yeah. But that's pretty good. You're driving 150,000 miles a year. Don't you think? You know, you know our circuit. Memphis, Nashville, Louisville, Nashville. Every, every, I drove the whole circuit from 1988. I never had a lick of driver's license. And I drove it all the way up to 2014 when the first time that they really put me in jail was 2014. And then I had to go through the courts and get my driver's license back and all that. And the good thing about that is <laughs> I have a perfect driving record at 53 years old. Because all the stuff I did was criminal. It wasn't. It doesn't go against your license. So I am 53 years old with a perfect driving record, and my insurance is cheap as hell. So for all you people out there that really want to know, just drive like hell, lose your license when you're young, then get them back when you get old, and you'll have cheap insurance. <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't realize that. I didn't either because I just thought, oh, no, insurance is going to kill me when I finally straighten my shit up at 53. And it is not. It cost me $68 a year to insure my motorcycle. And it cost me $36 a month to insure my car full coverage. Now, that's good shit, man. That's the re is that the wrestler rate? Uh, no, 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 no. That's 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 the Jamie Dundee right? See, JC Ice, the wrestler, <laughs> that dude is the dude that drove and got me all the tickets and didn't give a flying well, he don't care about nothing. That dude's crazy. Matter of fact, look at that. There he is right there. See? That's him right there. Look, this dude, J.C. Ice. You see that little dude yeah. right there? J.C. Ice. Yeah, he's got a fuck you hand right there. See, he don't care. That dude is crazy right there, man. That Wolfie, Wolfie made that makes that dude come out and get crazy. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like to bring him out, man. Jamie Dundee has. I pay my insurance. I paid my house off. I, I own my home, my land. I, I sold my that house in Nashville, and I bought all this stuff. Because J.C. Ice, he would have just took that shit to the strip bar, did cocaine, and wouldn't have cared. But see, Jamie Dundee, I, I'm a little more smarter now. That I'm looking to the future. Dutch. Have you slowed down some? Yeah, yeah, I'd have. And it wasn't because of a heart attack or nothing like that. I just got fucking old, man, and then tired. <laughs> I got tired. I ain't got high in 15 years, and it sucked. I, I tell people all the time. They say, I'm uh, I'm proud of you for being sober. I say, I'm not. Fucking sucks. It's boring. Life fucking sucks. I'd rather be high right now, but I'm not. Because everybody else wanted me to be sober up and be right. So I'm sobered up and right, but life fucking sucks sober. <laughs> so how many times have you, <clears throat> how many times you've been in jail, you think? Oh, 60. My, 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 my daughter said, Daddy, do you know that you are on famousmugshots.com? <laughs> Said, so, oh, they, so every time you got arrested, yeah. they took an another mugshot of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them all. I got every one of them. I love them. A bunch of them, I'm smiling and laughing you, and joking. There's only three or four that I'm not happy You about. actually need to put that out. You I need can to make put a book. Out. A, a well, we don't need to. mugshot book. <clears throat> well, just won't you just make you a, a montage of all, <laughs> all will, your mugshots? I promise I and will put, do that. And, and put the date on it. And you know what and else? Then sell it, and I'm you'll autograph put it, it. To the song "Jailhouse Rock." <laughs> there you right? go. Hey, Montage Jamie, you, hey, making a trip with Jamie is like—I mean that that trip flies by. I was I was making a trip with Jamie one time, and he was talking and talking and talking. I looked over at him. I said, "Jamie, have you even taken a breath yet?" Oh yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you remember telling me the about. story? You were in a county jail. Bunch of them. And <laughs> but I think you were hit on this particular one. Yeah. You were you were in there for a while. And you offered, you said you got bored. You offered to paint the jailhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell that story. What happened? Well, I mean, it's one of those see if if when you become what they call a state inmate, you have to get a job. I don't uh, understand this part because, like, I'm in there for child support, but they paid me $63 a month to go to jail. I'm like, well, this is fucking great. <laughs> it's called state pay, and they give you a dollar and a quarter a day times 30 days was uh, 45 bucks or something. They've cut it down to now like 60 cents a day now. But anyway, they said, see, they, they try you out on these jobs, and you're supposed to go to work. And see, when you work, then the state pays the jail. For every state inmate that works, the state pays them a certain amount of money. So you got to go to work. But see, they uh, like they put me on the road crew first, and that's where you walk around and pick up trash and all that. 
look, man, I'm not doing that. You didn't like, you didn't like that, did you? No, it was listen, I walked maybe uh half a half a mile and I opened up the door of the van and I got back in and I shut the door and the fucking that guard goes, What are you doing? I go, I quit. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> What? I go, I quit. He goes, You can't quit. I go, what are you going to do? Put me in fucking jail? I said, I quit. Take me back to the fucking jail, man. I want to lay down in my rack. I'm not doing this. So, look, bro, it, it was the craziest shit because, like, all the other inmates are like, oh, what do you mean we're going back in? Why we got to go? He's like, no. So he, he's like, Johnny Dick face to base. Johnny Dick face to base. He says, Dundee quit. So the jail, the lady at the jail says, what do you mean he quit? She said, he, he got in the van and he said he's not picking up the garbage. He quit. So the, the woman said, tell him he can't quit. He said, I did. And he said, what are you going to do, put him in jail? And she said, well, what are we supposed to do with him? And that guy said, well, I don't know. And I was like, I know. Take me to fucking jail so I go lay down in my rack, man. So we load all the inmates up and we drive back to the jail and they let me out. So then the woman says, Mr. Dundee, you got to you gotta work. And I go, okay, well, what else you got? And she said, <laughs> You can work in the kitchen. And I go, okay. So I worked in the kitchen like four or five days, but you had to get up at five o'clock in the morning. Quit. <laughs> I said, she said, time to get up, go to work. I said, I quit. That woman said, Mr. Dundee, you can't quit. And I go, yes, I can. Fuck you going to do, put me in jail? I said, I quit, lady. She said, you have to work. And I go, what else you got? She says, we got the National Guard Armory. So I said, okay. So then I went to the National Guard Army in Owensboro. You remember the one that sat in the yeah. parking lot of the National Guard Army, sat in the parking lot of the Owensboro yeah. Sports Center for that? Then I went there, and that is the where I got the painting job. That is uh, his name. I still talk to him today. His name is Sergeant Daryl Riley. He used to pick me up every morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, and they would bring me out to the Armory, and I would stay there till 5 o'clock at night, and then he would take me back into the jail, drop me back off. And that is where I started painting the National Guard Armory. And then when it got done, I told the woman, listen, <laughs> I want to go back to the Army. She said, you can't. The, the job's all done. I said, well, then I want to paint the jail. So she says, well, okay, I, I don't see why you can't. I said, me neither. So I painted the jail. I went and got five of my buddies, and we all, inmate buddies, I guess, and we all Went to our little own little cell. We got to, you know, because you're like a trustee, you know, because speaking of trustee, that's a funny story. My dad talking to Rocky Johnson. He said, how's Dewey doing? Rocky Johnson said, he's great. Said he just made the Mummy Returns movie, made 15 million. He said, how's Jamie? Bill said, he's great. He just made trustee. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, at the time we were both on top of our game though see i was trustee painting the jail the rock was making the mummy returns but we were both where we were in life we were on top of our game man so when that so you tried to make that painting the jail last a little yeah, bit yeah right? well i, I kind of did because <laughs> I, because here's the thing it's kind of it's like job security <laughs> if you paint it wrong then you got to repaint it again. <laughs> so it's job security. I don't want to go sit in a cell. So I just painted and we painted it like purple or some shit. And the woman's like, no, no, no. It has to stay gray because jails have to stay gray for some reason. Cause gray is the color that keeps their morale down or something. I don't know. Cause you know, I, I'm not from that world, but I mean, anyway, you can't paint it like happy blue or no shit like that because it makes people get all excited and anxiety up. So they want it, but we, I, I would shoot that purple, food color and stuff. Uh, we call it Kool-Aid. I would throw that in the paint and mix it up and paint it wrong just so the lady would be like, no, no, Jamie, you can't paint it that color. You got to redo it. Oh, darn, we got to redo it. So it really, I did I did it until so, I so, served out. So how, yeah, how long How long was that term? Uh, that, 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 like I did a four-year sentence, but I mean, in the penitentiary world. A four-year sentence was, for what? Child support? Yeah, for not paying, not paying some bitch 50 bucks a week. Yeah, yeah. I didn't pay some chick. Well, that don't make sense. If you're in there, you can't pay any child support. because That's kind of what I said. And the, that's listen, backwards. the guy in front of me, the guy in front of me raped and sodomized a 13-year-old boy, and they gave him two years. I'd never been to jail in my life, and I didn't pay some chick 50 bucks a week, and they gave me four years. So I said, so what you're telling me is you'd rather me fuck them than not pay for them. I don't, I don't understand what you're trying to say here, lady. Two years for sodomy on a 13-year-old boy, four years for not paying some chick 50 bucks a week for a child. Crocker shit. Let me ask you a little bit about this. 
we're supposed to be talking wrestling, but oh yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we got off we got off on this other subject. Yes, you ever see any bad fights in prison? Uh, no, no, because it's not it's not it's not like it used to be. I don't guess because I didn't I didn't see it. But I mean, you know, I'm a funny dude. I keep everybody laughing. When I left the jail, they have many jails. They have said to me, Mister Dundee, man. We're gonna miss would you like you, to bro. stay? Would Would you like to stay longer? Did he ever? Oh say yeah, that? much longer. Oh yeah, yeah. If they would let me fuck once a week, I'd never leave ever. You ain't got to pay no bills. You ain't got to do nothing. You can sit around. You can smoke weed. You can smoke cigarettes. You play cards with your buddies. You get fed three meals. I mean, it's great. I mean, so I, I wouldn't leave. I would never leave because I'm a lazy ass redneck dude, and I don't give a fuck. And I got twenty five dollars yeah. a day. I can change the TV, watch what I want to watch. It's my world. 